Welcome to Stir the Pot TV. We are your hosts, NJW and SW. Join us for Daddy Daughter Time as we do an episode of Am I the A Ho? Alrighty, let's get into it. Okay, so today's episode is going to be Am I the A Ho for not punishing my daughter for attacking a boy in her school? Ooh. <laughs> That's how we started off. Ah! Alright, come on with it. Okay. My husband has a daughter, Ellie, 12, from a previous relationship. We did not know about Ellie until last year. Before that, she was with her bio mom, who was very abusive. Ellie is tiny, shares clothes with our seven-year-old, and is closer to seven to six-year-old developmentally. She's the sweetest little girl and is always making little presents for me, my husband and her siblings, and loves hugs. She's never been violent before this. Ellie goes to a special needs school. There's a boy two years older than her, <clears throat> excuse me, that has a history of being violent, especially towards younger, smaller kids like Ellie and her friends. He's never done anything to Ellie until recently, but she's told me about him hurting her friends and it was bad. <clears throat> Ellie is terrified of this boy. Her school's picnic was last week. They had games for all of the kids and while Ellie was playing with her friends, he pushed her down and kicked her head. Ellie lost it. She tackled him, knocked him over, slammed his head into the ground, and was on top of him hitting and scratching him. It took both me and my husband to get her off of him. Both kids ended up in urgent care because of this. Ellie had a mild concussion, two broken teeth, and a couple scratches and bruises, and he had a broken nose and some scratches and bruises. Ellie is not being punished by her school, <clears throat> but the boy is being expelled. We saw the boy's mom when we were getting Ellie some new toys and some ice cream, and she started saying she can't believe we're rewarding our kid for breaking her son's nose and that we need to get our kid under control. I told her that her son is the one that started it, but she insists that it's different and he can't help it. Am I the a-hole for not punishing her for attacking the boy? No, she's not. And First of all, it don't even matter what the other mama say. Yeah. How I parent my kid don't even matter. And another thing, we gotta just say, good job, Ellie. <laughs> Ellie was some butt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ellie said she might have uh, lost the war, but she <laughs> <laughs> she might have lost that fight, but she won the war. Yeah, she won that day. Okay. Yeah, yeah he won't do that. He won't, won't, he won't yeah. even look at her. Yeah. So no, you're not wrong, but and then. He started it. Yeah, yeah, and he's a bully. Like this isn't his he first has a time. History of it. Yeah, this isn't his first yeah. time. No. It's, and see, that's how people don't understand. If you got a history of any type of thing, when this first happens, yeah, you can't yeah. say I ain't never done it. Or yeah. I didn't know. Or if you continuously let it happen, like if she wouldn't have did nothing, he would have continued to keep. That's right. Hitting that's on right. Ellie. He kicked her in her mouth. And then now, like oh, how oh. rude. Yeah, now Ellie popular. Okay. <laughs> She done whipped them. Said Ellie ain't got friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was. You whipped them for all of us. Okay, yeah. hello. And they, they, you know, she did say it was special needs. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ellie, but Ellie too. So it doesn't, because the mama she is saying. She ain't special. Because the mama is saying that it doesn't count the way that the, the son is acting because. Because he's special. special needs. Yeah. So, but Ellie goes to that school too. So that means that in some uh, form or fashion, she is too. But the whole, the whole deal is this. If he killed the whole classroom, it shouldn't have happened to him. Right. That don't make sense. Right. Yeah, so they, they come up with a special needs thing already. You know, uh, he's special retard, uh, uh, messed up in his head. Yes. Okay, so I want to read the first two comments because they're different opinions. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so this one says... She di the first one says she didn't attack a boy. She defended herself. I applaud that she did it after concussing blow to her head. As long as you firmly let her know... <clears throat> that starting violence isn't the same as using violence to defend yourself from violence, not words, actual violence, right? The next comment said, the mother is in the wrong because she should in no way be, re be rewarding bad behavior. The fact that she's in an ice cream shop as well means that she's possibly getting her dog beep son some ice cream too. Then has the nerve to say she needs to parent her daughter, but she shouldn't have to parent her son is crazy. That F that boy and his slow beep mom. Now Ellie, on the other hand, simply stood up to a bully and didn't let him attack her on her friends. So she deserves more than some ice cream. She decided to be the hero all those kids needed. That's right. See, we just discussed that. We sure did. That and then that, that comment uh, showed a whole different perspective because how are you in the ice cream shop too after he just kicked a little girl That's right. That's, That's right. That's exactly what she just said because... You took he started it and you took your son to the ice cream shop. And so she's wrong for taking her daughter? And we should have been wrong for attacking the mama? Right. 
I'm talking about the mama. Well, she would have been wrong if she'd have attacked the mama. Yes. Why? Because both of their kids are there. That's endangering your children at get, that point. Get your child. If not, I'm going to get you. <laughs> I feel that. Absolutely. I absolutely feel that. If we was in a secluded area, not the ice cream shop, oh, no, I, yeah, that's jail, not real. I can lose I Don't try to use my kid. stuff on me in a secluded area. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're nobody looking. Okay. So one more comment. And okay, we'll... okay. One more, one more. Somebody said, I mean, she could use some refinement, but on the whole, I agree. She did a good job defending herself. After years of re refereeing and teaching martial arts, I can say with conviction that little girls can be flat out terrifying when sparring and grappling. It's like their brains shift into rapid badger mode and opponent size means squat. This little girl is no exception. That's right. And then, like she, like she said in the beginning, she was already terrified of Yeah. Scared and people scared, do scared listen, things. Listen, scared somebody, a kid. Yeah, a one arm nigga can kill you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing a leg. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, and that's it, no? Yeah. <laughs> and that's it for this episode of Stutterpot TV. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And we'll okay, see you guys and next. like and comment as well. Yes, please like and comment because we're going to do it to y'all channel. Thank you, thank you for joining us. <laughs>